Good evening, the Heat Nation here with us in Miami and around the world. The passage of time is a mystical, magical thing. It's still hard to believe it was 30 years ago that Pat Riley on the Carnival cruise ship, The Imagination, was introduced as the president and head coach of the Miami Heat. You don't need your imagination any longer. All you need are your eyes and your memory to see the retired numbers and the championship banners that symbolize the greatness of this franchise. And we know who to thank for it. And many of those people are here with us tonight. I want to start off by making some quick introductions. First, Pat's family, his granddaughter, Olivia, his son-in-law, Paul, his daughter, Elizabeth, his partner in life, his wife, Chris Riley, is here. Of course, the man the court has been named after, Pat Riley, is here. The Arison family, represented by Mickey and Nick Arison. We have them to thank for Pat Riley being here. Andy Ellisberg, who's been Pat's right-hand man as GM. The great Alonzo Mourning, Udonis Haslam, and Dwayne Wade are here. Three guys that helped put up those three championship banners. We, we also have, have several former players and coaches here, including Goran Dragic, Mike Miller, Darrell Wright, Jamal Mashburn. We call them G Money, Glenn Rice, Norris Cole, a guy who brought culture to this organization before we knew about that word. Keith Askins, one of the great big men of all time in NBA history, longtime Heat assistant coach Bob McAdoo, and three people that have helped immeasurably in scouting, player development, and coaching through the years, Adam Simon, Ron Rothstein, and Tony Fiorentino. It's now my honor and pleasure and privilege to introduce Basketball Hall of Famer, Heat legend, and current Vice President of Basketball Operations. His banner will hang up there forever. Number 33, Alonzo Mourning. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Coach, uh, it's an honor to be here to witness this monumental moment. Uh, and I know I speak for all these folks behind me. Uh, it's an honor to be a part of your legacy. Coach, 30 years ago, you welcomed me to this franchise with an open heart and a singular vision to host a championship parade down Biscayne Boulevard. And since our very first season here in Miami, you've done nothing but deliver on that vision again and again and again with a blend of class and competitiveness that this game has never and will never ever witness again. You've given your heart to this franchise as a fearless leader as a visionary executive, and it's time that we give something back. A permanent honor atop the floor you commanded, inside the home you helped build. This will be forever a reminder of what you mean to this team, this organization, and this city. Y'all give it up. We'd like to now call on Alonzo Mourning and Udonis Haslam to present a gift to, to Pat Riley on behalf of the Miami Heat organization. Gentlemen. So was the first player that Pat Riley acquired after arriving in Miami. Boy, together, 
those two guys and Pat Riley helped fill you with such great memories. Gentlemen, let's unveil the present. Pat Riley is already a Basketball Hall of Famer and an NBA icon who represents winning, competing at the highest level. And now this court will bear the signature of his name forever and the Heat will compete here for future NBA championships. Folks, we all have a lot to say to this man and it starts with thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we now bring Pat Riley. Congratulations, Coach. about 
and I was out in the parking lot with my hands through a chain link fence. Udonis just instinctively knew something was wrong. He came out, grabbed me, and he said, I got you, coach. Took me to the car. What kind of man he is, man. We've been through it. All of us have been through those kinds of days. As Eric said, up in the rafters, okay, there's 2006, 2012, 2013, Eastern Conference Championships, Zoe, Shaq, Dwayne Wade, Tim, Chris Bosh, Udonis Haslam are all hanging up there from the rafters. We want a lot more. Ron Culp, God bless him. May he rest in place. He's up there. I want to thank all the staff. I, uh, I just can't thank you to everybody for 30 years. I want to thank all of the staff, especially Karen Merrill, who's been with me for 30 years, my executive assistant. Yvette Morrell, 30 years as the executive assistant of basketball operations. Andy, Adam, Tim Donovan, everybody behind me. I almost want to tell Mike Diamante, stand up and make some noise for all of these people right behind you. Please do that. Everybody. This is to Mickey. This is beyond even my imagination of a reward for a man's life's work. We are huge dreamers, and Mickey has made mine. It wasn't something that I wanted or pursued, but I'm going to take it. This honor is a testament of a life focused on an inner mission that drives me. It is a calling. With the fire and spirit that was in me, we, us, every day, the true reward is the culmination of a deep desire, natural progression of the drive, and a deeper source of faith as we con uh, continued to walk on a path that was put in front of us. Our walk is a walk of obedience in the values we hold dear. Hard work, accountability, sacrifice, teamwork. The we, not me, or I, the need for all, one vision, one mind, with no deviance. It's transformative. It transforms all of us. But the glory is from the, the, the closer we walk each day towards how I now want to be on this earth. The players aren't going to believe this, but I just want to be a kinder, gentler, nicer man. That's all. I've gotten softer with my old age. The rewards, that achievement, this court dedication, I can only thank Mickey Harrison and Nick Harrison for that. I've worked with a man and a woman with a similar passion to build a team, a company with a drive that's unsurpassed by any people I know, Mickey and Madeline Harrison. You've got to stand up for Mickey Harrison. He brought us here. He built this arena. He hired me, he had faith in me. I love that family to death. I'd like to finish, obviously. I can't thank everybody, but there's one person who I can thank. I want to say thank you to Elizabeth for coming. And that little beauty down there, Olivia James. No, not yet. And Paul. I want to get this one right. It was one summer night on a crowded mezzanine in San Diego. I saw perfect. The most beautiful woman ever. A flowered summer dress swaying softly as she walked towards me. Saw those hazel eyes and my heart leapt. Determined I would see her again. There were not going to be any games here. I went for her like Udonis Haslam is going to go for a loose ball right on that court right there. It started with a beach walk, a shared ice cream cone, long drives under the sun and under the stars, just drifting in bliss, singing out loud all Motown songs, the songs we love. They became our songs for life and still are. What was next? She got a ball player. 
I got somebody truly special. Then, a proposal, a wedding, a marriage, a family. Chris and Pat, son James Patrick, grandson Connor James, daughter Elizabeth Marie, granddaughter Olivia James, son-in-law Paul, the Rileys, new lives, new teams, new friends, new challenges, new highs, new lows, honey. We've been through it all, moving on, getting traded, getting cut, getting fired, career over, but always there's a new dream. LA Showtime was great. New York Madison Square Garden was exciting. But the Miami Heat has, will, and always be family. It's family. Teams can win, families win championships. Nikki and Madeline, Nick, Jenna, Kelly, and Ronnie, I just want to thank you so much. Miami's a home. Some great success early and some failures, then championships. Joy, parade, champagne. Chris is right there, always in 118, yelling and screaming with all of our friends. Nobody could ever wear a Celtic jacket there or anything in that one section. Look out. She was forever and always committed, keeping me going. We are vow keepers. We kept them for a half a century. Both of us, we kept each other right, really right. Right there in our hearts, souls, faith and hoops. Thank you, God. I know now you sent me a great woman, a great partner, a great person, a great wife, great mother, great friend to all. In Miami, Chris, we built a great life together with the Heat, the staff, and our great fans. A life we told each other, Miami is it. We turned over every stone kept each other there when our eyes closed. Our hearts never let each other go, or anyone. It will end here one day, and that stamp there, and that stamp over there, that's what it's all about, sweetie. We made it, we made it. I love you, thank you. And to all the fans, thank you for 30 years of your support. Thank you for being here tonight. Love you all. Thank you.